before you hurt me, I vow to forgive you. Before I place anything of value in my life, I want you to know that you will always come first. It is an honor to place myself second, just as Jesus did for humanity. I will also make any sacrifice to protect and keep you safe. You never have to question my love because it lives in you. And as we grow older each day, I promise to cherish every moment, whether it's me being clumsy or the two of us laughing at Melody. I vow to never take our short time on this earth for granted. There's so much more to say, but in your heart, you know, my soul fully. So now I will say that I love you, baby, and I can't wait to spend forever and all this time. Caring, loving, kind, thoughtful, outspoken, protective, and most importantly, God created. You crafted me and then considered what kind of woman I would want and modeled you and molded you into existence. A woman whose beauty captivates me and leaves me speechless, whose intellect and wit that often leaves me dumbfounded, and a love so deep and powerful that I'm impressed you haven't been locked away for murder yet for the few <laughs> pairs of eyes that have lingered on me for a few moments too long. So why bring any of this up? Is it to say that our traits when laid bare may not sound like a dream, catch, and yet you are mine. So again, what is perfection? It's the woman before me today. The one who works to make me smile after a hard day regardless of how her own day has gone. A woman who tirelessly works to come second in this race for two. And a woman who seeks my happiness above all else. God knew that I'm an idiot. and He would have, he would have to craft you differently to get my attention so that his intention would come through. I know I'm not always the brightest individual, but I know it's okay because you still accept. You are the reason I wake up smiling, why I constantly strive to be better, the shining example that I can aim to be. So, we may not be perfect, but I would say that you are perfect for me, so that brings us pretty darn close.